I don't think I'm going to sit down, actually. I don't think I could sit down right now. A stunned Stephen Colbert reacts during his live election coverage last night as the results start to swing in Trump's favor. How did our politics get so poisonous? I still think that in her lifetime, she deserves to be the first female president. And that's what makes me so sad. Miley Cyrus uploads that grief-stricken video while Lady Gaga posts a picture of her protesting with the caption, I want to live in a country of kindness. Katy Perry goes off in a series of enraged tweets saying, the revolution is coming. Snoop Dogg shares a picture of Toronto skyline, calling it his new home, and asks Drake to give him the hookup on some property. Practically all of Hollywood has something to say on social media about last night's results, and the overwhelming majority of it is negative. What are your thoughts on the fact that Trump has been elected as president? I went to bed expecting that uh, Hillary would win, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I woke up in the morning, went on Twitter, and I couldn't find any tweets saying she'd won. I thought, yeah. what is going on here? And then I see the number one trending topic is... Trump wins. The news comes as a shock to Canadian singer Dan Tilefsky and several other left-leaning celebrities who stood by Clinton's side throughout the campaign. You must vote for Hillary Clinton tonight. From Katy Perry to Lady Gaga, Madonna and Beyonce, Hillary had the most powerful entertainers in the world in her corner. Every time that Hillary prated one of her rich and famous celebrities, it played right into Trump's hands. It allowed him to feed to the average American voter that that rich establishment was the reason why they didn't have a job, they didn't have a prospect, they didn't have a livelihood, why they needed real change. But this time yesterday, many stars were filled with hope, and some even made light of the election. Kelly Clarkson urged America to make the right choice again, comparing it to her American Idol win 14 years ago. Lena Dunham shared this shot posing with Lady Gaga, while Amy Schumer struck a pose with Amber Tamblyn and America Ferrera. And director Darren Aronofsky lets students at Duke University FaceTime with rumored girlfriend Jennifer Lawrence as long as they voted. These celebrities with their rose-colored glasses, their private jets, their palaces, the whole concept of living in LA don't realize what's happening with real America. The truth is we're taping this show on Tuesday afternoon, so people at home, you know something that I don't and that we all don't. On today's episode of Ellen, the host has no idea what's to come, but her hopeful message still rings true today. I believe that we can all come together because if you take away the labels, uh, you realize that we're far more alike than we are different. So... Daily Show host Trevor Noah also urges America to come together now more than ever. You can be dejected, you can be sad, but I will say this, don't let it turn into fear. Megyn Kelly co-hosts Live with Kelly today and shares a similar sentiment. That's one of the things that makes us great, is we go through this electoral process, we get battered and bruised, but at the end of it, we do accept the result, we get behind our president. Talking about a very divided nation, and the only way America's ever gonna be great again is if it comes together. Get out there, kiss a Democrat. Go hug a Republican. The election is over. You survived. Good night. And may God bless America. I'm Roz Weston. For more, visit etcanada.com and watch ET Canada weeknights on Global.